Now, if your bike is making a noise other than perhaps the swooshing of rubber tires along the road or the occasional change of gear, then it's possible that you need to actually try and solve that noise. Now, it's not necessarily the easiest thing to actually diagnose because different people call different noises different things. Confused? Don't be. Let's try and identify those noises and let's try and solve that problem. Now the sound of your chain scraping or grinding could well be due to the fact that your gears are not indexed correctly. So what I mean by that is that the chain is not sitting correctly on the sprocket that you're asking it to sit on. So what are we gonna do to try and solve that then? Well, firstly, let's put the chain into the smallest sprocket on the rear of the bike, so that's the one with the lowest number of teeth, and then simply stand behind the bike and look at the rear derailleur. And in particular, that upper pulley wheel, the upper jockey wheel, you could also call it the guide wheel too. Now, have a little look at that and make sure that it's sat dead on, spot on, beneath that sprocket that you're asking it to be in. Now, if it's to the side at all, you are going to need to give it a little bit of attention. So what I would suggest doing here is actually to unclamp the cable clamping bolt and then wind all the way in your barrel adjuster, pull through the cable and then apply a decent amount of tension onto it and then reclamp the cable. Now you want to change gear into an easier gear. So give it one click, pedal the cranks around and then wait for it to see if it moves on to the next gear, the one which you're asking it to. Now, if it's not moving on to that sprocket, what you're going to need to do is slowly wind out that barrel adjuster which you've just tightened in. Therefore, that's going to apply more tension onto the cable and move that derailleur onto the next sprocket. Now, you are going to need to apply a very fine amount of adjustment there to actually make sure the chain's not still rubbing, but you can slowly watch it moving across and not rub on either sprocket each side of it. Now, of course, there could be another cause of that grinding sound, and that could well be the front derailleur cage. Now, one of the most common ways of this happening is when someone's riding along and they're riding in the big chain ring at the front, and at the rear on the cassette, they're riding in the big sprocket there. So essentially, they're asking the chain to work at quite a severe angle, and that chain is actually rubbing on the inside of the front derailleur cage. And the opposite is when a rider is riding on the smallest chain ring and the smallest sprocket at the rear. And again, it's working at a very extreme angle and it is simply rubbing on there. Now, some ways around this is to give your gear lever a small movement inwards, asking it almost to move on to the biggest chain ring, for instance. And then you do have like an extra little bit of index system to get rid of that grinding sound. But sometimes you simply have to unclamp your cable bolt pull through that cable just a little bit tighter and re-tighten it just to try and take up any slack. Now a clicking sound when riding along on your bike is probably one of the most irritating sounds you could have other than the tss of a puncher. The reason it's so irritating is because it's going to make you want to pedal less whilst riding along. And well, that's not part of cycling, is it? But what could it be? Well, firstly, let's look at the bottom bracket. Now, press fit bottom brackets, they tend to get a bit of a bad reputation because they're interference fit into a frame as opposed to using threads. So have a look at your bottom bracket. If there's no notches inside of the bottom bracket itself uh, for using a tool to install it, then you've got a press fit bottom bracket. Now, the bottom bracket itself is kind of the junction box where all of the power is transferred from your legs through to the actual drivetrain. So, like I've already mentioned, it's an interference fit unit on those press fit bottom brackets. So if a frame is not built or made perfectly cylindrical on the inside of the bottom bracket shell, sometimes those press fit bottom brackets can actually slightly move around inside of the shell, therefore giving you an irritating creaking or clicking sound. But in actual fact, it can be a process of elimination to find out where that clicking or ticking or creaking is actually coming from. And it's likely the bottom bracket is the last place I would look to actually try and solve the problem because it's the most labor intensive part of the bike to work on in most cases. So first up, I would have a look at your pedals. Make sure they are done up correctly into the cranks and also that they've got some grease on the threads there too. Sticking with pedals, 
actually ride along, first of all, with your cleats in, then single-legged, and also without cleats fitted as well, to see if it's the cleats that are making the noise. Could well be a cleat bolt that needs retightening, using some grease, of course, or maybe it is, in fact, a worn-out pedal bearing inside of the actual body of it itself. And also, it could well be your chainring bolts. So make sure that they're fully greased up and also torqued up to the correct specification too, because a little bit of movement down there on a chainring can in fact cause an awful lot of noise. Now, with all of these threaded components which we've mentioned, you are going to need grease, in my opinion, on them to actually prevent them from seizing up and also prevent them from clicking, ticking, creaking, whatever we want to call it, whilst you're riding along. Now, if you've got one of those press fit bottom brackets, some manufacturers do recommend to use different compounds whilst installing them. However, the different varieties of options out there is quite lengthy, so I would definitely advise speaking to your local shop before going ahead and using any compounds inside of it. Now, a final one to look at with this noise is actually your quick releases and your axle. So always give the quick releases a coating of grease. So something like a medium viscosity all-purpose grease is absolutely fine. And then don't forget to actually grease onto the axle where it sits inside of the dropout too, because occasionally a small amount of flex can create that annoying tick, click or creak. Final one the rattle. Now this one can be a fairly easy one to diagnose and solve because it's the loudest noise of all. So first point of call I would look at is definitely where your outer cables are going near your frame. That way you can see if there's any paint missing for instance. That's a certain indicator of a rattle which could well be causing that noise. So if you have got that then it's certainly worth getting some self-adhesive frame protector and simply placing it where that rubbing has been occurring. However, there could well be some internal rattles. Now, this one requires a little bit of MacGyver, and I do like a bit of MacGyver. I had an internal cable rattling in the past, and I think the best way of solving this is to remove the components so you can actually access into that frame and then get yourself some bubble wrap. I find this is great because it doesn't absorb water, it doesn't block water, once upon a time, someone I knew used a sponge and that tends to hold a little bit of water in there when water does find its way into the frame tubes. But that bubble wrap, you can put loads of it in there. It's lightweight and it stops the cables from rattling on the inside of that frame. Get in, MacGyver. Of course, now it could well be a loose headset. And one easy way of finding out that is simply grab the bike, pull the front brake and try and rock the bike backwards and forwards. If there's any clunkiness, in it, then yeah, it's likely that your headset has slowly come loose. Now, the way of adjusting this is to loosen your top cap adjuster bolt slightly, and then undo your stem bolts too on either side, and then simply take up the slack enough so that when you pull on the front brake and try and rock it, there's no more rocking there. That's a result, but also you want to make sure the handlebars turn freely as well. So there's no stiffness, no graunchiness, anything like that. You may well feel a little bit of resistance. If you are, just bear in mind, it could be your brake cables or gear cables too, where they are just taking up a little bit of that slack. Now, once you're happy that the headset is all okay and there's no rattling, no stiffness, anything like that, then simply tighten up your stem bolts and you are good. Of course, make sure they're done at the correct torque setting. This can take a bit of toing and froing because you can tighten them up, rock it, and then find out there's a little bit of looseness still, or maybe it's a little bit tight. So it is a game of cat and mouse, if you like. You have to be patient. One thing to consider though, if your headset has been rattling for quite some time, then it is likely that the bearings are now useless, to be perfectly honest. You may well get a little bit of extra life out of them, but ultimately it's worth replacing them. The reason being, each and every time that the headset has been loose and you've hit one of those holes in the road, that impact has really been amplified due to the lack of compression from the top cap. So I would have a look at replacing those bearings. There we are then. I hope that now some of those noises have gone from your bike because a loud bike is absolutely terrible. Nothing worse, can't stand it. Right, let me know though, what are your ways of getting rid of some noises on your bikes? What's been the trickiest one that you've had to find and then solve? Let me know down there in the comment section. I wanna find out exactly what you've been getting up to. Also, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Big old thumbs up down there. 
And don't forget too to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. We've got a whole heap of goodies for you to check out. And now for another great video, how about clicking just down here?